What's up, basketball fans? Welcome to the Warriors Report. It's time to talk about some basketball news, and that is the Chicago Bulls, or should I call them the Chicago Raptors, because they now have four former Raptors players on their roster. They signed three, just three today alone. So if you're a Chicago Bulls fan and you want me covering more Chicago Bulls content, or if you're a fan just watching this video, I am looking to expand my channel to more NBA teams. Just let me know in the comment section below which other team you'd like me to cover besides my favorite team, the Raptors. Uh, so the Bulls, let's talk about the Chicago Bulls. We know they signed DeMar DeRozan earlier in the offseason, the signing trade with the Spurs. Of course, former Raptors player, and they signed three today. So they signed Alizé Johnson. They signed Stanley Johnson. Another Johnson, they just signed Matt Thomas. So it seems like they're enamored by with the Raptors players because they're signing every single former Raptors players. So if you're a Bulls fan and you don't know much about these players, I'm going to break that down for you. So Alizé Johnson plays the power forward position. Didn't get much time last season with the Raptors for whatever reason. You know, he was a... He was, a, he was killing it in the G League. Despite being a little bit undersized, he can play that power forward position. He'll give you a tremendous amount of rebounds. We know the Raptors really, really struggled last season with rebounding. We had injuries. We had COVID protocols. But for whatever reason, he didn't get an opportunity with the Raptors. And he ended up signing with the Brooklyn Nets last season. And he got waived just a few days ago because we know the Brooklyn Nets had just signed LaMarcus Aldridge to make room for him. Unfortunately, Alizé Johnson had to be waived. But the Chicago Bulls, if you're a Bulls fan and you're watching this, you get a really good one in Alizé Johnson. He's not going to be a key bench guy, but he can be. If given the minutes, he's able to put up stats in a hurry. He'll block some, he'll block some shots. He'll get you rebounds in a hurry. And he'll also get you a decent amount of points as well, depending on how many offensive rebounds he gets. He'll get those putback dunks. He can't really stretch the floor, but he's a very high energy guy. Despite being undersized, he'll provide you with a lot of rebounding help. So that is Alizé Johnson in a nutshell. So let's talk about the other player. That is Stanley Johnson. So another great defensive player you get in Stanley Johnson. Now his offense, his offense is a lot of work. And I don't think the Chicago Bulls are bringing him in for his offense. But Stanley Johnson brings you tremendous amount of defense. He can guard multiple positions. He can guard the shooting guard position. He can guard the small forward position. And depending on the matchups at times, he can even guard power forwards. Great defensive player. Moves very really well on the defense. Great versatility. Now his offense, again, he can't stretch the floor. He's able to shoot the three-point shot. And, of course, percentages can be deceiving when you take a look at his three-point percentage from last season with the Raptors. But he's not really known for his offense. At times, he does force his offense a little bit too much. He forces up bad shots, but that is not his game. His game is defense, defense, and defense, and that is what you're getting in Stanimal. Stanley Johnson, though. That's Stanley Johnson. And let's talk about Matt Thomas, who I was really sad when the Raptors traded away. Matt Thomas, you're going to get someone who can't play defense, not like the other two guys, but he is a tremendous three-point shooter. For whatever reason, he didn't get the opportunity again with the Utah Jazz because of his defense, his poor defense. He's a little bit undersized. He's not a point guard, so you have to play him at the shooting guard position. But tremendous, tremendous three-point shooter. Great at getting off those three-point shots in a hurry. He can shoot the threes, lights out. He can space the floor for guys like DeMar DeRozan. So you get Matt Thomas, who's a little bit undersized, can't play defense, but he's going to stretch the floor. And that, that's going to help guys like Zach Levine. That's going to help guys like uh, DeMar DeRozan when they're attacking the basket. They're going to have Matt Thomas in the corner on the three-point line. He can really stretch the floors. He can get you buckets in a hurry. Despite maybe he'll be, you know, playing maybe 10, 12, 13 minutes, he can get you threes in a hurry, which is great news because just the way the Bulls' offense is, they really, it's very fast-paced. It revolves around Zach Levine, now Jamar DeRozan, obviously Nikola Vucevic as well. So you're going to have that guy there who can be a certified three-point shooter and get you a lot of buckets in a hurry. So that'll be Matt Thomas again. The question mark does become... How much do the coaches play him because of his poor defense? That is the big question mark. But if he does get playing time, he's shown to hit the threes at a really high clip. So I really like that signing for the Chicago Bulls. He's a great three-point shooter. You guys should be happy with getting all of our former Raptors players because you're getting some really good ones. But I want to hear your thoughts, guys. I want to hear your thoughts on the Chicago Bulls signing. The three players they have signed today, they obviously had a tremendous offseason signing DeMar DeRozan, Alonzo Ball. We know what they did at the NBA trade deadline, acquiring... Nikola Vucevic. So let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think of the signings? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you guys are still watching this video, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. In a net, Alizé Johnson, we know he got waived by the Nets when they signed. Uh, but we know he signed 
with the Nets last season. He signed with the Nets, and unfortunately, for some reason, they had to waive him because they had signed LaMarcus Aldridge. So Alizé, 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 